Hey there, it's Steve. And Terry. From Serious Keto. And what do we have today, dear? Today we have the July's My Chow Surprise Box from Keto Chow. Yes, we do. There's a lot of chow in there. Yes, there <laughs> is. Hopefully there's a lot of chow in here yeah, as well. Some good or stuff. at least a month's worth. I know, I know we have that much. Now, we get the surprise box because... We like surprises. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's fun. But you don't have to. And in fact, so far this year, it's been a little bit hit or miss, I think, in terms of the content. I liked back before this year when they'd put in the little gift, yes. you know, like yeah. the spatula or the apron or the mug. But I guess what happened is they asked uh, their, their customers, which would you prefer, getting a gift or keeping prices down? And I think the answer was keep prices down. So... Yeah. Anyhow, if you are risk averse, there are other ways to get keto chow meal replacements. You can get a 20, 30, 60, or 90 meal monthly subscription, and you pick all the flavors. So you get to decide exactly what you want. All right, now that we got that out of the way, you ready? Yeah, I just all took right. that tape off. Yep, okay. I already yep. took it. Yep, I did. All right, there we go. So we'll uh, set the recipes later. off to the side. That. So one of the things I mentioned last month is I, I would like to have a month of just all individual packets. They usually do, I think, one big packet, a 21 serving packet, and then you get like nine other packets. And again, we got a big bag. We've got what? Yeah, good one though. Yeah. Lemon meringue. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yes, I agree. So I actually went downstairs and did an inventory of how much lemon meringue we had left, and we only had two packets. Yeah. And was it um, a couple months ago? We made those. You made those no. lemon bars. Yeah, and you needed two packets think, of the lemon meringue, one for each part of the yeah. And those were super, super yummy. Yummy. Then we get into the packets. Chocolate mint, That's yummy. That's one of your favorite flavors. Yeah. Key lime. That's, That's a good, good one. too. That we don't really have. I don't know if we even have one left. No, I think I think we're out of key we're lime. All out. So, vanilla. That works with the key lime in recipes. The last one I used, this, I needed vanilla. Was that the yes. um, the macaroons, or what yeah, was that? I, yeah, them and there was something else with key lime. The recipe. cool thing with vanilla is you can add <laughs> yeah, whatever you it, want to it. it. It's you sort of oh, it. also it's used as a crust. Uh, yeah, in one of the time. one of the bars, and I think yeah. since we got all that rhubarb, we might have to try and make some oh, yeah. rhubarb, rhubarb bars. That might be a new flavor they could have is rhubarb. Raspberry cheesecake. One of my faves. Cookies and cream. One of their most boring flavors. <laughs> Irish cream. Um, not, I'm not a fan of that because it reminds me of coffee. I like it. In fact, I I may have to make a batch with coffee. And oh, put this okay. right in instead of using water. Okay. Three more. Peach, right? Peaches yeah. and Peaches cream. Peaches and cream. That's just plain. It's, <laughs> it's no. I wish it were it's plain. It's good for no. cooking, though. It's good for summer. Chris, Chris Bear tells me it is the most divisive flavor of keto chow. There's like no middle ground. It's like the cilantro of keto chow. People love it or they hate it. Okay. I am not in the love it category. I like it. Uh, pina colada. That's, that's good. good. That's a good flavor. Drink. For summer here, obviously, because this is the July. And oh, pistachio is really good. Pistachio, yeah. great flavor, great yep. for ice cream. Yep. Perfect. All right. Let's take a look then. So I'm going to say mostly hit on yep. this. Peaches and cream and cookies and cream. Eh. All right. We should make a drink for some Fourth of July. Oh, popsicles. Yeah, that'd be good. So rainbow like, sherbet popsicles. Like probably pistachio. I bet either I peach or orange. You got your glasses. What's what's in there? So uh, raspberry cheesecake, the orange cream, and the key lime. Orange cream or peaches and cream? No, ras orange cream. Do, do we get an orange cream? Well, oh, and we have it down. We got it last time. Okay. Well, so. It's odd that they would have that in the recipe and yeah. not include it, unless peaches well, it, and cream was an well, accident. Well, it was probably with the meringue, the lemon meringue, or key lime. Okay. Because you got those big bags. So. All right. Yeah, then. Orange was last month, I think. Orange, Irish cream chocolate fudge. Again, I wouldn't eat it, so. Okay. But this sounds really yummy. Magic lemon cake would, would be delicious, I 
yeah, lemon meringue that we should make. Oh, this is really pina colada pound cake. Yeah. So what I'm wondering Super easy is easy. maybe instead of making it like a big one like this, we've got that dash mini bunt maker. Oh, maybe yeah, make them bunt. like little ones. Okay. Uh, pina colada pound cake, 15 minute prep time, 15 minute cook time. That's a possibility. The magic lemon cake, oh, it's got to chill overnight, so that's going to be a no for the sake of this video. And then Irish cream chocolate fudge, again, four hours of chill time. So maybe what we should try doing is making the pina colada pound cake and... Uh, yeah, we have coconut milk and egg. Well, this is actually, this is a pretty sizable recipe here. Five eggs, a full can of coconut milk. Yeah. Hmm. All right, we're going to give some thought to what we do for our recipe okay. then. And then uh, we'll just pretend like we made it for the sake of closing mm -hmm. out this video because I don't want to like rearrange the, the cameras and everything. So um, we'll, we can do like two alternates. Like, we, well, like we could, because like I said, we're, I'm just going to tack this on at the end of the video. Okay. So, wow, that recipe we made sure was good, wasn't it? Oh, it was really good. Thanks for watching. Okay. And then, uh, ooh, yeah, I've had better recipes than that <laughs> recipe we just made. What did you think? Uh, it, it was all right. I'll eat it, but probably won't make it again. Yeah. Yeah. So. so you see, this is the magic of video editing. We can just put in whichever one is applicable. I want to go in 55 minutes on this. Over. Actually, come to think of it, I think I went maybe 60 minutes, but... Oh, okay. They do that more gracefully on TV. Well, but it worked. You smell that? Yeah, it smells good when I walked in. Oh, yeah. Spongy. Pretty delicate. It's very moist. I'm wondering if it could have cooked just a little bit longer. And there's there's very much that almond flour sort of taste and texture to it. It's one of those where the pineapple in the pina colada on this, it reminds me a lot more of pineapple candy, like uh, pineapple lifesavers or something, Okay. rather than actual pineapple. But I'll let you have a taste and you can tell me what you think. Mm. Good when it's warm. Or spongy, not dry. Yeah, it's like a pineapple upside down cake. Tastes to me. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I don't think there's too much almond flour flavor, but yeah, it tastes like pineapple. It's, yeah, pineapple upside down. It's good. Good job on the Pinot Colada, guys. Now, before we end this video, two little announcements. So I talked to Chris Bear, actually three, three announcements, because first I got out on to the, I was on Instagram and I saw on the Keto Chow Instagram, they had a thing for, it's National Root Beer Fro Float Day oh. today. And they made a, a gelatin with it, which I don't know that I'm, that excites me, but what they did, it, what the idea it put in my head was making that flavor of Keto Chow with carbonated water. Oh. So then, you know, and a little bit of float. cream, and then maybe it tastes like, like a root beer float with yeah. the carbonation in it. So that's item number one. Item number two, 
I was texting Chris Bear of Keto Chow this morning and I said, Chris, when is my flavor going to come out? And he said, at least two months from now, possibly four months. Okay. Apparently there is some like global shortage. I don't know if it's acacia gum or something like that, that is impacting production. So that's kind of a bummer. I was really, really hoping that that would be next month. Okay. The final announcement is this Wednesday, just this past Wednesday, they released another new flavor that oh. I'm pretty excited about. And I can tell you about it now. It is. Oh, wow, that sounds yummy. Blueberry pie. And I think this, if it tastes good, has a lot of potential for recipes, like making cream cheese balls or, or I mean, uh, uh, cheesecake type things. Oh, yeah. I, think, uh, I think this one could be fun. And I mixed up a batch for us to try out. Oh, yeah, I love blueberries. It's my favorite. See, you didn't know this was coming. Is it I had this. Cold? Oh yeah. Oh, good. Mm, you can smell it yeah. already. Yeah, it smells good. Ding. Mm. Mm. That is. It finishes good with blueberry. Yeah, it it tastes like real blueberries. Mm -hmm. It yeah, doesn't. And that sweet, like, yeah, sugary face. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. Like, if you had a blueberry Pop Tart or something like that, it would be super sugary and it just it doesn't taste right. This, literally, the aftertaste on this is yeah. so much like real blueberry. Yeah, it tastes like you just had a fresh blueberry from one of your local farmers or something. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is a win. I don't, I don't know that I taste like pie crust no, or anything with no. it. It's pretty much all. Blueberry, which yeah. I think is a good thing. Yeah. Our grandson will like that too. Mm -hmm. He loves blueberry. So as always, I will include a link down in the description below along with a discount code for Keto Chow. So if you want to get some of this blueberry, I would recommend you get on this fairly rapidly yeah. because this is going to be a limited edition flavor. I don't think it's going to be a, a long-term thing. Oh. So order this if you're interested. Yeah, it's really good. So that's it, I guess, then, right? What do we say? Get, thanks oh. for, oh, get to making a recipe here. Yes, well, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do that and we'll insert it into the video. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, we already did insert yeah. it into the video. Okay. So, all right. <laughs> all right, well, thanks for watching. That, you oh, always, you're always see, stealing my oh, line. See you next time. <laughs> thanks for watching.